Right, welcome back to Superliminal. So last time I had a bit of trouble with a puzzle, with the moon puzzle. Uh, but we made it through eventually. We're now in like this, all these different die, dice, whatever you call them. Um, they're changing in different ways. Uh, we're kind of trapped in a loop of dreams. The the voice is telling us that we need to get out and we need to have we need to trigger a mental overload. Oh, I can only pick up this dice from the five. Weird. Uh, I don't know where it's supposed to go, so I'm guessing it's going to pull the floor up. Or ah, -ha -ha! it's a uh, doorway. But that is a long way down. That is a long way. <laughs> Alright though, it's uh, the only way we can go, so YOLO. Hmm. This is where we started, right? Oh no, maybe not. Anyway, let's pull the fire alarm, <laughs> as always, right? <laughs> Okay, okay. Emotions and expectations highly affect dreams. Dream layers of the mind. Testers so far. Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith, Bart Blagov. It's been crossed out. You are here, so we're on the third level currently. People only dream of ordinary objects. <laughs> Boring. Yeah, I mean, one of the... I guess it's only a theory, but I, I still it makes a lot of sense to me that we did at university about dreams being a way of rehearsing emotions that you can't necessarily rehearse in real life. So, like, you, you know, a lot of common dreams involve, like, being chased or falling, you know, fear of heights. You know, emotions you can't really simulate or practice because you might die, you know. So falling from a great height is a way of conditioning you to to avoid that you feel that sensation of fear when you're at a height anyway but yeah and like being chased you might end up dying if you do get chased by a predator or something so being chased i'm sure everyone i'm sure you've all had a dream where you've been chased i mean I've, i remember being chased by skeletons in a dream you know and it's just it's a it's a survival simulation right um but you know, and other dreams are about, can be about things you're nervous about, or and again, it might rehearse interactions that have been that are on your mind. You know, if you're nervous about speaking publicly or a meeting at work or whatever, that might that it might present itself in a dream, or if you're afraid of a confrontation with someone, that might present itself as your brain trying to manifest like a a rehearsal of that scenario because you have emotions tied to it. I think a lot of the time emotion and sentiment get kind of mixed up because emotion is much more pragmatic is to me is is pragmatic whereas being emotional means being a bit sentimental I think or sensitive I guess okay we've got a got a radio here now hello there doctor hello my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Every day. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? That kind of... Uh, I always remember somewhere where I worked, where someone was, you know, who has that... Who had, that really positive presented voice like that but was saying something completely depressing <laughs> um, always makes me laugh that kind of thing opposites always do I guess okay that's a bit ominous right can't really open yes let's uh, ruin our chances of being able to deal with the fire it's a game. I'm going to press everything, right? They didn't tell me this would be a horror game. Okay, uh, this is taking a bit of an evil turn. 
This is about to turn into a nightmare. Don't do this to me, Superliminal. I thought you were a nice, sweet puzzle game. Emergency generator. Okay. The dream is collapsing. It's not Inception, Matt. The dream doesn't have to collapse. Okay. We're being followed by darkness. What's in the box? No idea what this is supposed to be. What? I knew there'd be blood at some point, man. Oh, what? Seriously? Ah! Sorry your ears. Door. Why are you doing this to me, game? This was not advertised as a horror game. I'm playing Soma after this. This is not what I needed. I needed a nice, cute puzzle game with an interesting story. <laughs> as if I just got a jump scared in a puzzle game. Okay, this is very ominous. Blood, hand, blood, ha bloody handprints, a door that's shut of its own volition. The dream is collapsing. Okay. Interesting schedule you've got there. Hopefully it's Sunday. <laughs> it is actually Sunday right now, <laughs> which I'm grateful for. Beans, please. Where are the beans? Beans. Um, if this is a puzzle, then I'm a bit confused. Right. You cannot see anything outside of the light. Um, what do you want me to do? Okay, confused. There's nothing I can grab, I can see. like something should change because these lights are similar but uh oh oh man okay walking in the dark die 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 it's German for oh it's diet <laughs> the Bart the Oh, hey, what's back there? Don't disappear now, die, die, die. Hello there, plants. No, nothing for me? Okay. Into the darkness. Maybe there was something on the other side, but um, I just kind of want to get out of here. <laughs> Place has freaked me out. Substantially. Don't appreciate that door. For God's sake. 
it does look it does kind of look like paint. I don't know if that's just because it's I don't know if this has been made in Unity and this is just bad blood effects. I don't know. Don't slam behind me door. I don't need this. There's a bit of faint light up there if you can see the red there where the re where the reticle is. Door. Oh. There's been a murder. Okay. Can we not have a torch? Okay, so there are platforms. Got you. Uh oh. Okay. About this way. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Light. Save my bacon. Let's follow the blood. Why not? What could go wrong? Doctor, get me out of here, mate. Serious. Serious. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Okay, so we're here because we're unhappy. Apparently. Don't do that. The chess piece. Can't pick up. Ah, dear me. More blood. It's Beans Day. Don't do it. Oh. Chess piece. Oh, hello there, Arrow. Thank you. Stairs. Beautiful. We made it. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself okay. even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Okay, we're in a dream within a dream then. Or dr two dreams within a dream, right? We've woken up twice at 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and 5 a.m. Usually take these off. Uh, we use this as like a giant torch. I think I'm thinking of is if we, because this is an exit sign, like, if it's pointing a certain way, maybe that creates a new door, but I don't think so. Oh, okay. Great. 
Okay, this is a torch then. X. Thank you, torch. We uh, we got there eventually. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Frustrations. Okay, more blood or bean juice, whichever one it is. Got another sign, but we can't take it through. Okay. So we need to illuminate, perhaps. Okay, that definitely didn't work. Another murder door. Can't quite see anything. I need this at a different angle. There a way to get this through here? We need a big light. A really big light. I know that that's just a brick wall, so. Aha! that okay. unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? We're this special. correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation <laughs> protocol. <laughs> Alright, chill out. Simple instructions. Give me the knife. What have you been chopping? Can't even tell. More blood. Blood. Wood. Oh, I thought that said IKEA. It says idea. <laughs> that must be an IKEA thing, because it's because it's in yellow, right? Hey, 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 hey! Chill out. This room's bigger than we realised. Hey, playful jazz music. Couldn't possibly get murdered to the backdrop of jazz music, right? Okay, we've got an open window up there. More brain waves. Oh, I was right. It, is a, it was uh, the matching levels. The... As far as I remember, the slow wave stage three and four, the, the waves got really slow, not uh, busier. And then REM sleep is the busiest because that is as if awake. Why? See, this is why you need a zoom button, man. I want to read that, but I can't make it out. Plates. So this is a big kitchen. Function room, maybe a wedding. 
So it is paint. No need to worry. Paint in the, the room red. There's nothing to grab in here, so... Maybe a painful memory of our wedding, perhaps? Okay, new key of design, too much. Uh, I'm a pirate. Eggshell with a code. That's just the paint type, perhaps. Projection, symmetrical layouts, materials, aluminium, plastic. Cloud insert, ply, corrugated, Z clipping, no. Portal prototype, banana yellow, order more red paint. Okay, nothing too coherent there. Okay, we made it to the end. So, uh, need to sleep. Promotes heart health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory. Why? Self-doubt and worthlessness. Biggest question, which is the real one. Cloning. Too many... Something many, really. Order longer freezer flaps. Okay. Okay, so what? We'll be at 6 a.m. now. Enjoy avocados, you hipsters. The little loading screen when I loaded into the game was like going up to a thousand percent for the loading. Am I going to have to turn all these off? Shut up. Thank you. I still can't get through there. None of these doors open. Doctor, you got anything to say, buddy? No? Alright, never mind. Uh, water soda, please. Alright, fine. I want it to burst. Oh, come on. Maybe it needs to go from higher up. Okay, we've got a big green door. So much for that. Come with me, door. They're all locked down, right? They're like exhibits. Josh. Yeah, we've got some radio choices here. Like theme hospital music. Sweet. A jazz hop, right? Oh no, choices. Oh no, it's a cloning door. that door then. You both clone indoors. There we go. Could I do that on the other one? Who knows? I've missed that. I've missed out on that now. Okay, we're in the backdrop again. Attention, 
Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. T T T T T T T T T T T T T Oh, okay, so this is the cloning level then. Press left shoulder to return. What? Oh, crap. Left shoulder. Oh, we can reverse it. Interesting. Okay, each one is a clone. That's not good. At least the alarm stopped. Got it. My reticle has turned into a smiley face. Do you see that, guys? I bet I've missed a ton of secrets, you know. Okay. Lots of apples. Lots of doors. supposed to do this So the weight needs to be off the button, but we can't move the thing. Right? Okay. Maybe it's got like an overall mass or something. Oh, okay. I'm so close. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, number eight was good. Kind of like lo fi. Let's see what number nine is, though. Oh, eight's the last one. Okay, we got a big giant fan. 
more cloning apples. Are you going to push the apples somewhere, sir? Yes, he is. Where are you sending these apples? Into the abyss. I can't grab them, I can only replicate them. Gotta make it across here at some point. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, what the hell? All right. I need an apple to get out then, right? <sighs> uh, should we jump into the abyss and see where it goes? Fine. I've got no idea guys, no idea whatsoever, because I can't pick them up so... Okay, that kind of throws them. Half works. Didn't work at all. Huh, a changing color. I pick up a green one. Achievement unlocked. Why are you like this? <laughs> Golden apple. rolling. Wow, that is uh, rather fortunate. Alright. <laughs> Hello Warning. there. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. 
I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. Okay. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. All right. Oh, no, still no messages from Dr. Pierce. All right, guys, I'll have to leave that there. I've probably cut out a bunch of Apple messing around there. I just couldn't get a, a hang of the perspective, but I got there in the end. So uh, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everybody, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.